People always ask me, well, why did you choose this one and not that one? One of them was um, Diana Cook's um, burnt quilt, and it's a very, it's a beautiful floral, and it has a lot of detail too. It's a beautiful block. And that, to me, kind of embodied the spirit of this quilt trio, just that positivity, just that kind of lighthearted, yes, we're celebrating newness and the idea of the flowers blooming and that, that kind of renewal. So I thought that was kind of emblematic, maybe, of, of Schoharie and, and what the quilt trail represented. I also discovered that there's a very renowned quilter, Betty Pillsbury, here in the community. And um, I have a great love for cra crazy quilts. Not everyone does, but this is something that I just really appreciate. So when I was, we went to her home and saw some of her cloth quilts. And then of course she has a crazy quilt that's painted that's a replica of one of them. And that was something that was very unique. And to, to acknowledge someone that is a renowned quilter who's here in the community, who also was a big part of the quilt trail. And then the Dr. Best House, which is such an amazing treasure. And it was one of those very surprising visits for me. Um, it's a smaller quilt block. It's not a carriage house, so it's not one of the big 8 by 8s that you often see. So we pulled in, and I thought, well, okay, it's pretty. But then we go into this home, and it has all of this medical equipment dating back more than 100 years, and all of these artifacts from the family, and quilts everywhere on display. And it was such a fascinating place and a, really another treasure of the community. And the last one I chose was Marge Becker's barn. And hers was a family barn, and that kind of just ties in with what the Quilt Trail across the country is about, these people honoring their families. And um, she's an older woman who very much treasures that family farm and all of the generations of her family that have been part of that farm and that have enjoyed that farm. That's one that I really felt like, okay, this speaks to the heart of the Quilt Trail, honoring that, that family and their history. And she kind of had a neat story because she told me um, about her family founding the phone company in the area. And that's not something that, that I even knew about, that there were these little local phone companies and that she talked about being out there when they were running the lines and, and overseeing things. And then here's this elderly woman that then tells me about running fiber and how she's um, excited about the fact that her family is doing that. And I thought, wow. I wouldn't even know what that meant, you know? So, so that was just really interesting to me. Um, there were so many more I could have included, um, you know, and you have to really d make some decisions. And there were other people that we spoke to that told a lot about what their quilt blocks meant to them. And um, they were just wonderful stories all around.